Today's video visually features nothing but the beloved desert dwellers strolling along the Uhab River bed. But so many people have been asking about the possible reasons for the high calf mortality that I decided to share with you my theory on the matter. Please note that I am a private voluntary observer with a deep love for these magnificent beings. I am not conducting any official work or represent any organization, so my observations and theories should be regarded in this light. As stated before, the desert adapted elephants are not a different species from the African savanna elephant, but they have adapted to extreme arid conditions and as a result have developed certain characteristics to cope with these circumstances. There are currently only two places in the world where they occur, in the Sahel Desert in Mali and in the Namib Desert of Namibia. The total of the five subpopulations along the ephemeral rivers north of the Brandberg in Namibia amount to only 150, and the population in Mali amount to an estimated 350, which adds up to an alarming number of only 500 in the world. Though population sizes have always been relatively small and calf mortality high, due to harsh arid conditions, it seems like the calf mortality the past decade have increased and have been exceptionally high, and nobody seems to know why. Through observations and research in a private capacity, I came to a possible theory. Over a period of possibly decades, the diversity of available plant material for these elephants have been reduced to such an extent that it had a detrimental influence on the health of their gut microbiome. A lack of diversity in available plant material in the long term result in a diminished gut microbiome which causes a nutritional deficiency that eventually affects the healthy development of the fetus. There is currently no scientific proof for this, but it seems like breathing difficulty could be the cause of calf mortality a couple of days or weeks after birth. It is a fact that microbial diversity increases with the heterogeneity of habitats available. A decreased microbial diversity is considered an indicator of an unhealthy gut microbiome and linked to disease in the long term. Because the gut microbiota produce a variety of nutrients, including short-chain fatty acids, B vitamins and vitamin K, as well as synthesize all essential and non-essential amino acids. Though what I'm going to state next pertain to humans, I believe this could also apply to elephants because they also are hindgut fermenters. Research on the importance of the microbiome and health was done by Dr. Theodor Escherich in the 1840s already, but this research faded only to recently re-emerge. Fascinating results and findings on the role of the microbiome have been published by the Human Microbiome Project in 2012. Facts like the following. The amount of microorganisms in the body outnumbers the amount of cells by far. 95% of the 
of the DNA material in the body belongs to microorganisms and not to the human genome. And also the astonishing link between a diverse gut microbiome and health. Again, I assume these facts should apply to all hindgut fermenters, which includes elephants. To test this theory, a microbial analysis could be done by comparing the dung of a female that successfully birthed and raised a calf and one of the same age group and area that did not. If indeed a gut microbiome problem could be identified, the issue can possibly in the short term be addressed by fecal supplementation from a healthy population. The eating of fecal matter called coprophagia is a common phenomena amongst animals to improve their gut bacteria. Fecal transplants have also successfully been done on humans for almost a decade now. I refer to the work of Dr. Will Bolsevich and many others. If indeed the problem of calf mortality was indirectly created by human activity, it therefore could and should be rectified by human intervention. Fecal supplementation is a short-term solution until plant diversity can be restored. If you found this information relevant and believe this could help with the conservation of the endangered desert adapted elephants, please share this video. Thank you.